This presentation should be a part of the previous session, but due to the time, it finds its perfect place, I, I, I can say, just between two very interesting cases of two of the most sophisticated and urological procedures. Uh, the topic of these cases is CSWL death, which are uh, result of a UMERGE international study. Uh, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Popov. I'm coming from Bulgaria, from the University Hospital at the Medical University of Sofia. For a lot of years, this was part of all urologist's life, this uh, chronometer, which was the frequency of the lithotripter. Not anymore. With the introduction of ESWL in the 80s, urologists were able to disintegrate most stones in most parts of the urinary tract in a minimally invasive fashion without the need of even touching the patient. In fact, even today, the ESWL remains the only non touched treatment in all stone treatment options. What are the numbers saying? In the last years, there are a serious, serious uh, decrease in the number of ESWLs, but not as absolute number as, as a percentage. Uh, there is serious uh, switchback between the ESWL and ULS, which uh, has quite a dramatic difference between the beginning of the millennium and now. And what has changed? The PCNLs and transuretral treatment options, the different types of URS, became more widely available, more effective and safer. The most important thing is that many urologists have forfeited on ASWL because it requires a considerable capital investment, special expertise, seems time consuming without the urologists being so actively involved that it is very, uh, very nice case that Professor Lame uh, has showed us, and some different national reimbursement policies. In our study, participants are uh, shown on this uh, card. We have put it in our presentation just to emphasize the fact that a lot of them are from the stone belt area. The method is a questionnaire containing 23 questions which uh, emphasize on personal data and experience with ESWL, ESWL logistics, indications and contraindications in different centers, and the most important in our opinion, their personal perception of the current role of the ESWL and its future trends for development. What are the results? Regarding important characteristics, 65% of them work in tertiary hospital and 68% of them work for more than 10 years. So these are senior, senior urologists with significant expertise. Other than that, 59% 59, 59 of these urologists uh, dedicated more than 50% of their time to stone surgery. So that these are quite uh, subspecialty uh, designated uh, results. About uh, how many ESWL are performed in the last year, uh, a lot of them, over 60%, do more than 100 cases per year, which could be uh, discussed as an advantage that they have significant experience, but it can, it can be also uh, be a bias. Uh, because a lot of these, a lot of these uh, centers have uh, ESWL as a major part of their work. About the same about the CSWL logistics, 72% of the respondents have their own ESWL, and 64% of them are doing ESWL for more than 10 years. So we are talking maybe for a possible selection bias. Indications, I would, I, for, the, for the sake of time, I will skip them. They are, uh, all of them are regarding to the EAU. Uh, no, nobody in vast, vast majority, nobody has their own personal indications uh, differenting from them. The same thing about the contraindications. 
the most imp uh, maybe interesting and important part of our study is uh, the um, respondents' uh, view on the contemporary role of DSWL. First question is what is the, their choice of treatment for a uh, small renal stone less than 10 millimeters? 60, 65% even now say that it is ESWL. This is the distribution, uh, this is the distribution of uh, procedures, uh, procedures uh, choice for all renal stones between 10 and 20 milliliters. And this is uh, the same thing, but, uh, but excluding lower pole stone. We see that in this case, ESWL is the first, is the first choice in 53%. For the lower Calicia stone, the picture is quite the opposite. Only 15% are, are, are presenting ESWL as a first choice of treatment. Uh, from the point of physicians, we have asked what are the disadvantages of ESWL, nothing, absolutely nothing surprising, incomplete stone clearance, need to repeat session and uh, auxiliary maneuvers, and of course all of the above because they are quite, quite interacted. The same thing, we ask about what we uh, think the patient has as a main expectation and concern for stone treatment. And one very important in our understanding question, does the patient choice of treatment have priority over surgeon so, uh, of the surgeon's choice if all offered options are sound? 72% said that if all the options are equal by medical point of view, the patient preference should be taken into account. When we ask our responders, from your point of view, ESWL in the treatment of urinary stone disease, uh, the questions are almost equally divided. 55% says that they should be considered as first line of treatment for renal stone smaller than 20 millimeters. For another 45% thinks that uh, they are most of the auxiliary procedure, but significant part, 55% thinks that they are now replaced by other modalities of treatment. What are the facts? ESWL has to face formidable competition in the last two decades from endourology. ESWL per percentage of procedures for stone treatment has been decreasing, but not their absolutely number, it's not extinguished. ESWL has some unique benefits and advantages, which are, and in the foreseeable future, will be irreplaceable. Some of them we, heard, we, we learned in the hard way the last two years. These main, uh, main benefits and advantages are its non-invasive nature, lack of need of general anesthesia, the so precious operative time, which uh, in COVID pandemia was uh, precious than gold, very low morbidity and high efficiency, but here is the uh, pitfall in properly selected patients. But these are no less than 60 to 70 percent of oak stone cases. Vastly outpatient procedures, another very limited resources as, as we seen in the last years, which save except precious operation theater time and hospital resources. It has firmly established place in pediatric urolithiasis and in rural and underfunded areas is alternative to endurological procedures which could not be afforded by some people and they are alternative to the much more riskier open operation surgery with significant morbidity. The trends, many authors agree that the problem is not the, with the ESWL as a procedure. He, it has a, a undisputable effectiveness and safety, but rather due to the low quality of service in the last years, because the patient selection is not good, technical performances uh, has something more to be desired, 
there is decreased commitment and interest in, from the urologists. Of course, uh, of course, and urology is much more enjoyable. I admit that I love I love and urology much more. But we we must for first we must look for our patients. Insufficient training in low number of cases. In some areas, unfavorable reimbursements and all of these leading to stagnations of innovations. When we have uh, one closing question about the future law of the, of the ESWL, all of our respondents, 62% of them, are convinced that it is here to stay. Maybe with, maybe with different uh, with different indications, maybe it has a little different place in the treatment of stall and stall disease, but it is here to stay. So thank you so much for your attention and thank you so much for your hospitality.